Right, uh, after watching the previous lesson or the introduction to TRIG, let's just do some uh, simple introductory examples here. So, worked out examples. Right, let's get on with it. So, we are looking at examples of TRIG ratios. So, you can be given a triangle X, Y, Z, and then they will ask you, given triangle X, Y, Z, right, the three trig ratios in terms of x y and z the small the sides of the angles x and angle z so the solution the first trig ratio sine of angle x opposite over hypotenuse will be equals to x all over y sine of angle z will be all right the side z which is opposite all over hypotenuse which is uh, the opposite side z and the hypotenuse side y and then the cos sine ratios is going to be cos of angle x will be equals to adjacent all over hypotenuse which is equals to side z all over side y and then cos z cos of angle z will be equals to the adjacent over hypotenuse which is equals to x all over y so the adjacent side is x and hypotenuse is y moving on to the third trig ratios which is 10 so you can you will find the 10 of angle x will be opposite over adjacent so here we use remember you can use the acronym chashotawo or sokatoa depending on which one you is working for you so it's opposite of adjacent and it's x all over y and then trig of angle z is going to be y all over x so that is very easy just applying the trig ratios and you will be good to go now let's look at another example right in this example you are given triangle abc and triangle kpl right and then they ask you they ask you a question determine the following determine the side pl and determine the side bc and determine the cos of a and cos of k right so we need to work out those questions given there right so remember you can always have your scatter written down so in this case to find kl we use pythagoras which means the hypotenuse side will be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so may using subject of the making pl subject of the formula we can see pl is equal to square root of kl squared minus pk squared which will be equals to square root of 10 squared minus 8 squared which gives us pl is equals to 6 so you can see we used here pythagoras to work out the side pl and then we can also use pythagoras to work out the other the remaining side which is going to be right ac using pythagoras ac squared is equals to ab squared plus bc squared that is because of pythagoras and then we make bc subject of the formula bc will be equals to square root of ac squared minus bc squared right and then we substitute the numerical values right and then we work out the answer and then to find cos k remember cos it's a uh, adjacent over hypotenuse right and then we are good to go All right so cos a cos uh, k you can see it's going to be using sokatoa we found the ratio is 0 0.8 and then cos of a using again the ratio of cos it's going to be 0 0.8 so what do we choose what do we notice we notice that cos of k ratio is equals to the ratio of cos of a so what does that mean so what that means is that triangle abc is similar to triangle KPL. Okay.